ALS is a degenerative disease that most obviously affects motor neurons. Motor neurons are like wires that connect the front of your brain where you make your decisions to the muscles that carry out your actions. So a person with ALS gradually becomes disconnected from their muscles. They lose the ability to use their arms, which means they can't take care of themselves, to use their legs, which means eventually they can't walk, to speak, to swallow, and ultimately to breathe. Unfortunately, the prognosis for a person with ALS is you know, progressive disability and shortened survival. Typically, people with ALS only live about three years from symptom onset. I'm optimistic because we understand ALS better than we ever have. And we're developing therapies that target specific causes of ALS. There are drugs in development that target specific disease-causing genes that can turn those genes off. At the same time, there's a lot of other drugs that affect parts of the ALS pathway or uh, you know, end organs like muscle that might be able to significantly improve the quality and length of life for patients while we wait to identify the cause of their ALS and ultimately fix it.